Okay, so let's imagine that there's a magnetic field pointing uh, out of the page. Okay, it's a uniform magnetic field pointing everywhere out of the page. Okay, so those are the tips of the arrows representing the magnetic field. And the magnetic field has a magnitude, B, which is equal to some constant C times T. So that means that the magnetic field is increasing in time, and so at T equals zero, right, so first notice that at T equals zero, B is equal to zero, right? At T equals one, second, B is equal to C, at T equals 10 seconds, B is equal to 10t, and so on. So the magnetic field is linearly increasing in time. So now let's imagine that we have a, a rectangular loop that we place into the magnetic field like that. Uh, say the length here is L, and, the, uh, and this side is W. And we want to find the EMF, and uh, the current that's induced. Let's say that the resistance of this um, loop is R star, and it obeys Ohm's law. So we know that the EMF is, uh, so the, the induced current is related, so let's say I induced times R star, right? That relationship holds. So we can evaluate I induced as the EMF divided by the known resistance, but we need to find the EMF. So from this, we can say that the magnitude of the induced current, which obeys Ohm's law, is the EMF over R star. Uh, or rather, if we're talking about, if this is a magnitude, then it's the magnitude of this quantity. And then we can worry about direction. Uh, in a, uh, after we figure out the magnitude. So <clears throat> the EMF is related to changing magnetic flux, and so this tells us that we should first evaluate the magnetic flux, which is the integral of the magnetic field over the surface. And so if we consider the surface the area of the rectangular loop, which is L times W, then we notice that B dot dA has the maximum possible value because both uh, B and the dA's are coming out. So if we choose the orientations such that the dA's are pointing out of the page, right? that's the normal to the surface for the dA's, therefore we get that the magnetic flux is just the constant value of the magnetic field, <coughs> which, which at any moment in time is just some fixed value everywhere. So it's constant over space, and this just becomes the magnetic field times the area, the magnitude of the field times the area, which here becomes C times T times the area, which is uh, L times W. So the magnetic flux is increasing in time, and so clearly there's a, an EMF generated, so in terms of d phi by dt, we get, we have to take the derivative of this, and that just gives us C L times W, because it's dt by dt, and that gives us 1. So in terms of the magnitude of the EMF, these are all positive quantities, so we can say that the magnitude of the EMF is just C L times W. So the EMF is a constant quantity, and therefore the induced current is just C L W over R star. And we can get a sense of the direction of the induced current by recognizing that nature doesn't like a change in the magnetic flux, and so this induced current is going to flow in the 
loop either this way, so counterclockwise or clockwise, such that its magnetic field in this region is such that the magnetic flux stays the same, right? So it's going to attempt to create a magnetic field there that uh, points in a direction such that the magnetic flux isn't changing. And because the magnetic flux is increasing, right, we can make these red dots bigger and bigger. Then we know that the induced current will flow uh, in this loop such that uh, the field that's associated with the induced current in this region is pointing into the page. And so by the right-hand rule, we want uh, a current, an induced current that flows this way through the loop because magnetic field direction is given by that part of the bio savar law, for which now we're talking about the induced current cross R hat. And so DL, right, so the, the current here, current elements here, the index finger is pointing this way, and we want the field here in this region. So my it's R hat, my middle finger points inwards, and my thumb points in because we want the induced field to be pointing in into the page to compensate for the fact that the red field is increasing out of the page. And so the induced current will flow clockwise, I induced.